Basin hopping is a modern algorithm that attempts to randomly perturb the current coordinates to find the corresponding local maximum or minimum. So right now we'll talk in terms of minima. If the minimum is lower than the previous one, then the coordinates are accepted and the process repeats. So it's kind of like a random walk in that it searches a lot of different places. Otherwise, the former coordinates are retained while the process continues. This random perturbation allows the method to locate multiple minima if they are present and hopefully settle on the global minimum. Our process is going to take locating a local minimum, then taking a random large step in any direction. So it's kind of like random sampling in that way. So we're going to set up our figure of merit F. We're going to select a starting guess, X naught. We're going to use hill climbing or a greedy method to find the local optimal point. Then we're going to randomly perturb the search coordinates away from that local optimum. This is why it's called basin hopping. You're just going some random distance and you're hoping that you find a new basin or a place where a local minimum would be located. We're going to calculate the next local optimum at that point and we're going to compare them and we're going to keep the best one. This is analogous to climbing the nearest hill but then randomly t stepping very far away, perhaps in seven league boots, and climbing the nearest hill to that point. If this happens enough times, global minima or maxima can be identified. Rather than implement basin hopping directly, we're going to rely on scipy.optimize.basin hopping, which accepts x and y as elements of a vector instead of separate arguments. So you'll, you, you'll need to look closely at how the code is defined. So here we've set up fras for the Restrigan function. This is a very bumpy function. As you can see, it has a lot of um, squared values of x and y and cosines involved in this. So it's a very bumpy function. You've seen it before with the uh, SymPy work. We're going to import scipy.optimize. In this case, I renamed it as SPO. I'm not most happy about that. We should probably just say from scipy.optimize import base and hopping. You'll notice here that the way I've set up my guess is as a two-element array, negative two, positive two. So x is negative two, y is positive two. Basin hopping simply accepts a function, expects a function, and then a guess is a single vector. So the way that's been set up in FRAS here is we accept a two-element vector vec. We grab the zeroth element of it as x and the oneth element of it as y and then we apply our function to that. So it behaves a little bit differently. And what it returns in this result has an x, which you have to pull out 0 as x and 1 as y. It also returns to you the function value at that point, which can be convenient. So that's f star. The rest of this is plotting code, so we can see the entire function. We're going to go ahead and plot it as filled contours for convenience right now. You can also plot it in 3D and you can see that in the notes, but it's a lot slower to render. So here you can see the low points are in dark blue, the high points are in the green or the yellow, and it has correctly located the global minimum at 0, 0. So the default settings do quite well with the Restrigan function, which is in many ways a pathological case. You can see here it has a lot of local minima. Another method, like a random walk, would get trapped in one of these basins and maybe never quite make its way out, or only explore a small subset of them. A greedy algorithm would almost always fail, depending on where you started it from. But if you restart it many times, as we're doing with the basin hopping algorithm, we can get past this. So of all the te techniques that we've seen, basin hopping is fairly expensive, but it's one of the most versatile in producing good results in finding function optima.